Bienvenidos, welcome to Spain on a Fork. Today's recipe was requested by one of my subscribers. We're making a classic Spanish dish that is called uh, Cazuelita de Rape Gambas. Cazuela de Rape Gambas. Sorry guys, when I'm translating from English to Spanish to Spanglish, my mind is going at a million miles an hour. Anyway, it's translated to a monkfish and shrimp skillet, and we're gonna serve it with a spicy tomato sauce. This is such an incredible dish. It's very easy to make. It's all done using just one pan, and it's done in 30 minutes. The perfect dish for one of those busy weeknights, or even better, for a relaxing weekend lunch next to a glass of red wine. Now, to make this recipe, we're gonna be using some monkfish known as rape here in Spain. It is such a popular fish here. You can find it at every supermarket. If you can't find it in your local supermarket, yes, go to the fish department, ask the person that works there do you guys have any monkfish if they tell you no we don't then ask them do you know where I can get some and if they tell you no I don't then you just go try another supermarket but seriously it never hurts in asking most people will help you out and you're also gonna need two types of paprika the hot kind and sweet kind I'm gonna be using Kiva sweet smoked Spanish paprika and Kiva's hot smoked Spanish paprika both of these paprikas are essential in this recipe as they give the tomato sauce that sweet and smoky flavor along with the spicy kick I highly recommend them. Link in the description box below where you guys can get these. All right, folks, let's get started. We're gonna begin with our monkfish. I've got these two beautiful fillets I bought in Frozen. They've been thawed out just because it makes it a lot cheaper. Normally they sell them like in a tail form, but I saw these beautiful fillets, so these are the ones I'm gonna be using. You wanna make sure you pat them down with some paper towels to remove any of that extra moisture inside. Then season them with sea salt on both sides. and some freshly cracked black pepper, again, on both sides. Next up, I've got 12 raw jumbo shrimp. These have been peeled in the vein. Again, I bought these frozen, and they've been thawed out. You wanna make sure you pat them down with some paper towels, and season them with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. Also, for this recipe, you're gonna need two cloves of minced garlic, half of an onion that's been diced, about three quarters of a cup of tomato puree. This is basically canned tomato sauce, and a quarter cup of white wine. All right, let's start cooking our dish. Grab a fry pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the oil for two minutes, add the monkfish fillets into the pan. I'm gonna cook these for three minutes per side. Now the thickness of these fillets are half an inch, so if your fillets are a lot thicker, make sure you cook them for a little bit longer. After a total of six minutes, that's three minutes per side, remove the monkfish fillets from the pan and transfer them to a dish and cover it with some foil paper to keep them warm. Now using the same pan with the same heat, add the shrimp into the pan, and we're gonna cook them for about a minute per side. The secret here is to not overcook your seafood. After cooking our shrimp for a total of two minutes, that's one minute per side, remove them from the pan. I know this is kind of a pain in the butt to be putting fish in, taking it out, but you don't wanna overcook your fish. That way it has a beautiful texture to it and cover the shrimp with some foil paper to keep them warm. Now again, using the same pan with the same heat, we're gonna add our diced onions, and our minced garlic, and mix them around with the oil, making sure to scrape up anything that was left over from the shrimp and the monkfish. This is gonna give our spicy sauce that beautiful flavor. After cooking our garlic and our onions for about two minutes, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika and half a teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika. And mix it all together until it's well combined. Once you have everything well mixed, and again, you wanna do this very quickly, that way that paprika doesn't get a bitter flavor, add the quarter cup of white wine. And give it a quick mix. About two minutes after adding the white wine, and you can see it's really thickened up, we're gonna add our tomato sauce in there. Then season it with sea salt, freshly cracked black pepper, and mix it together until it's well combined. 
After leaving our sauce to simmer for about three minutes, let's lower the fire to a low heat. And let's add the shrimp back into the pan. And the fillets of monkfish. And you want to get in there and flip each of the shrimp. That way they're bathing in that beautiful spicy tomato sauce. After heating our seafood for exactly two minutes, this dish is ready to go. Remove it from the heat. And I'm gonna garnish it with a couple slices of lemon and some freshly chopped parsley. Okay guys, our dish is done. This looks unbelievable. I'm gonna give it a try and let you guys know how it tastes. Now this looks amazing. Here we go. First things first, all the seafood is perfectly cooked. That is the most important thing. You don't want to overcook your seafood. Otherwise it's going to have like a rubbery texture to it. That monkfish is so beautiful. You know what's something that's funny about monkfish? They call it the poor man's lobster. Why? I don't know. It is such an incredible fish and has such a beautiful texture to it. You got those shrimp and then that spicy tomato sauce with that beautiful kick from the hot smoked paprika. Brings it all together. Incredible dish. Very fun to make. Very easy to make. Done in 30 minutes. The perfect dish for any occasion. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.